Good evening, Facebook Live. Hey, it's Curry Russell, and I am playing with some new stuff here, testing out some things. This is not going to be a normal, normal, why do I have no video? Why is there no video? I am looking, and it's all black. So if you guys can see me, give me a thumbs up, because I don't see anything. It looks like video is up. Oh, so you can see my screen. For some reason, I cannot see my screen. So if you can see my screen, that's all that matters. I have no clue why I cannot see anything. All right, guys, so listen. Uh, I'm going to say something I have not said in a long time. I'm going to do something fun and con controversial and as long as you see me, that th that's all That's all good. Yes, it is a new microphone. Strangely enough, it's not plugged in yet. It's just all wired up. I've got a new lamp. i got a new microphone. I got Now i got to get all this stuff wired up. And, and uh, yeah, it's all pretty. It looks good. It looks like I'm doing something professional. Um, but how about the, the West Virginia funding of PEIA, P -E -I -A, the insurance for the entire state uh, all the state employees in the, uh, in the in West Virginia. So earlier tonight, I made a comment on someone's post um, because they mentioned that the government wanted to fund PEIA with a soda tax. And I agree. I am all for a soda tax. Actually, I'm all for a fast food soda, candy, uh, high fructose corn syrup tax is kind of like the cigarette tax, right? They, they t tax tobacco so high that people stopped smoking. They taxed it so much that they stopped doing it. And one of the reasons why I'm for it is because it would reduce obesity. Uh, you might not agree. You might completely disagree. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, Libertarian. I'm for reducing high fructose corn syrup in America. I'm all for reducing junk food in America. And I, as a fat guy, am a fan of, of f foods like that. I truly, truly am. I'm completely um, a fan. But the way I see it is, if they're going to raise soda one cent per ounce. So let's say that you buy a uh, you know, a dollar twenty-five bottle of a twenty-ounce soda. It's now going to be a dollar forty-five. It it's not that big of a deal. Over and over, it's not like there's already taxes upon taxes on gasoline. But you're fine. You survive. There's taxes upon taxes on other things: sales tax, uh, government taxes, property tax on top of owning. You know, sales tax. A one cent tax on anything isn't going to break your family up. It isn't going to change your family's life. But raising $85 million over the course of however long with a soda tax could absolutely fund our teachers, our state employees, um, and give them the insurance that they need and want. It could give your children a better future without the with parents not buying as much soda and high fructose corn syrup products. Do you, I know that you probably don't like the idea, but these are the things that could actually help help your life, not just take money out of your wallet you might think twice about buying it because it costs a little extra. You might go, you know what? We might just drink water. We might just drink tap water. We might just drink well water. We might just, you know, put some Kool-Aid in, in our containers. We might just go out here and, and buy a bag of sugar and go out here and buy some packets of Kool-Aid and make something that, you know, we used to do in the 80s and early 90s. I don't know if anybody's still making Kool-Aid these days because you can buy it all mixed up and all filled with high fructose corn syrup rather than just getting a bag of sugar and making it yourself. Y'all might hate this. No, Scott, we're not drinking hemp water. This I can't even believe you put that in there. You are a bum. 
I love you, man. I truly love you. I'm just kidding. Um, but June, we already have a car tax. When I moved to the state of West Virginia, I had just bought a brand new Chevy Trailblazer, a brand spanking new. Moved, paid nine and a half percent sales tax in the state of Tennessee, then came to West Virginia where they now have a personal property tax and a convenience tax to bring your cars into the state of West Virginia. To buy our license plates for my wife's Mustang and my Trailblazer cost us, I think, about $3,000 in cash just to get our license, just to get our license plates. Cash, you can't, there's no, there's no way to, uh, there's no way to, uh, you know, there's no like program to, you know, credit. No, you have to pay for it right then or you can't get a driver's or a, a license plate. Guys, a soda tax, a candy tax, something could be used to drive use down and increase finances that the state desperately needs. I'm not for overtaxing things. I'm not for, you know, you, but I'm for realis realistic uh, taxation. How many things could we put an additional little pain to prevent us from doing? How about you lower the cost of organic food and foods that are healthy for you and raise prices on things that are horrible for you? Like, I'm a massive fan of Little Debbie snack cakes. If I can sneak and get a Little Debbie snack cake, I'm going to. Like, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the crap. But if that was out of my reach, if it was a little bit more of a pain to buy, like if it was a dollar per cake versus 75 cents, I might think twice about buying that cake. More than likely, I'd still buy it because I'm just an idiot, really. I, I am. But guys, you have to understand the money has to come from somewhere. And if you are that concerned that teachers need more money, you have to expect to spend more money. You have to. If you are that concerned that state employees need a raise, teachers need a raise, insurance is needed, and you know that the teachers and the state employees ain't out there building their own business, they ain't out there teaching entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, they're not out there promoting you go out and build something incredible and create money. No. So they need it. They need funding from the people who are working and hustling and grinding and putting in their, their hours and, and expect that they're going to get a paycheck for, for taking care of people's kids. I almost said babysitting, but I'm going to I apologize because I don't think it's just babysitting. I don't. I was I was brought up in the public school system right here in Mason County, West Virginia. I was brought up here, had some amazing teachers. I had some truly, truly amazing teachers that gave me incredible, incredible upbringing. They brought us up. And I do think they deserve better. I do think that they deserve more. But I also believe that we live in a whole different world than it was 20 years ago. We live in a world where you can create anything you want to create. The idea of being what you want to be almost doesn't exist. Like you can say that you want to be a, you know, a botanist, but then you go to college for, for three years and then change your degree. And all of a sudden it became too hard. And now you're a school teacher. I know people who do that. Their fallback is teacher. And that's not cool for the kids because they don't really dream of being a teacher. They just settled for teacher because that's what they, they, any degree can be used to be a teacher. So I apologize, but that's, that's kind of the truth, right? And, and guys, I am, we do need, we, I am for taxes. I'm not like, I don't even know what the difference between Republicans and Democrats and libertarians and independents even is anymore. I switched to being an independent 
for like 10 years because I didn't agree with all of everything that one party liked and one party didn't. And then there was these like fringes of uh, liberal Democrats and conservative Democrats and liberal Republicans and conservative Republicans and far left wing and far right wing. And, and, and I, none of it made any sense to me. But I knew that there was never going to be uh, a libertarian or an independent president or, you know, higher party. So I switched back to Republican because they m more closely, you know, meet the, the, the image that, that I was looking for. I know one thing. I watched a video of uh, that uh, Carmichael jerk off. Uh, Michael Carmichael from Mike. Is that his name? Carmichael? Somebody correct me. And how he handled the uh, the room when somebody was trying to get you know a discussion about the the teachers and and he just shut down the whole Senate floor for whatever reason. Listen, I don't know everything about con I don't even pay attention. I only know what I catch off Facebook every once in a while because I stop paying attention to it. But when this guy uh, tonight you know started calling me names because I had an opinion because. I'm a taxpayer, and if you make a statement on Facebook, you should expect that somebody is going to disagree with what you're saying. You should expect, because I expect it, I expect that somebody right now is wanting to go, no, you're an idiot, Curry. There's no possible way that you should have these type of thoughts or conversations on your Facebook page, and you shouldn't be out there talking about things that can hurt people's feelings and step on people's toes and rah, 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 rah. Why do I know this happens? Because I've been dealing with it for the last four years making videos. I know there's going to be people who are going to be like, no, this is a really dumb thing. You should not be talking about it. I absolutely believe that we should, if you spend more money, you're going to make more money. I believe that if you spend more in taxes, more people are going to make money and they're going to turn around and spend that money back into the economy every single time every single time. That's why we have people continuously getting raises and continuously living uh, outside their means. They make more money, so they think, well, I gotta go buy a boat. They make more money, I gotta get a bigger house. They make more money, I gotta get a better car. They make more money, I gotta have better clothes. That's the way it works. Look, at, I, listen, I'm an example. I got an Audi and another big truck out there, the Denali, and I got a house, and every time we make more money, we buy more stuff and help the economy. We just flip it. You just flip it. You make more money, you spend more money. And I believe that the only way you're going to fund what, what PEIA, I can't even say the acronym. The only way you're going to fund it for the state is to raise taxes. You're going to have to find money from somewhere. I'm not going to cry if you, if you raise, put a soda tax. I'm not going to cry. I go down, down to the gas station almost every day and buy my wife one soda. One. Just one. I don't buy them in six packs or 24 packs. She likes to have a big red every day. Almost every day. Or a Dr. Pepper. What? It's not every day, but it's it's just a habit, right? It's just a daily habit. We get to enjoy the community. We go out and talk to people at the gas station and come back. And every once in a while when she doesn't know it, I've been sneaking little Debbie snack cakes along the way. Don't tell her. I know she can hear me right now anyway. But listen, this is my opinion. It doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. It doesn't mean that I'm smarter than you or better than you or anything else. It's just an opinion. It's just an opinion. I don't see people jumping on. The, see, this is the, what I like about this. This conversation didn't draw people in the way a normal conversation that I have. Eight people on my live. That's funny. Eight people. They don't want to hear about this. They don't want to talk about taxes and talk about money. They don't know. You want to hear me rant about business and blah, 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 blah. So, all right, guys, listen. We got our Zoom starting in just a few minutes at showmemore.live. Um, I'm just going to be having some fun. I got to figure out why my video is not showing on my screen. That's the weirdest thing. So I'm glad you could hear me. Uh, I'll have my new microphone set up in a couple days. I got to order another piece because my input jack on my laptop is designed for just microphone and headset together and if I plug it in it kills my speakers 
So I got to get a splitter. I got to get a USB powered something. I, listen, it's always something. You never can just buy one cool thing. It's got to be one cool thing after another cool thing. Or I could just fake it and keep using this microphone and just leave this here as a, as a prop. Because this was a really inexpensive microphone. I think like 30 bucks. And it's pretty. And it's got this vibration thing on it. And it's got some cool stuff. But all right, guys. I'm going to shut this down. And <laughs> that's right, Mary. Everybody has one like a belly button. Now, I like that. I should have put that as the ha one of the hashtags. Everybody has a an opinion like a belly button. I like that. It's cute. All right, guys. Uh, I got it on my board down here. I, got I just another person signed up. So I got to take 86 down to 85. Business is booming. Talk to you all soon.